here is a rather elegant design for a street sign shown in elevation view and you see that the labels that are in this zone through here don't show the arrowhead that's because the stacking order is not quite right so select those leaders they are that are in error and simply go to tools draw order and bring those to the front now the arrowheads show on top just as we long it well in order to effect that editing i had to select the block right click and say edit block and adjusted the stack order of the leaders but i could do a little more Notice that if I pick this lower zone, that's a block called Gabion 2 times 2, as is the top block. So we've, remember we're in the block editor and we've found further blocks. So there are nested blocks here, a block inside a block. So we could, if for the sake of argument, we thought the blocks looked a little too angular and we want to apply a curve fitting to them, we could pick the internal block and so I'm going to edit it then you could just grab all of the elements of the drawing notice that gives me 98 over here I can just select just the polylines and change them to quadratic beast line and then close the block editor and unselect all now we've got a more curving if you like infill for the gavion so it's a very quick way of um, operating on part of a selection set just select everything and then isolate just the uh, the single entities that you're interested in well if i turn line weight on notice that the line weight does appear to be too heavy let's just turn it off for the moment and dive back in to the block and we want this 2x2 two two Gabion block and we'll edit it so we're deep inside the nested block set and we pick the outer line here see it's been set to 0.3 of a millimeter let's close the block editor and just go back to our view and turn line weight on and let's imagine we don't like the heavy line that's showing in the internal one what we can do this is this is on a relatively small piece of paper. We can go format and line weight, and we'll just change our default line weight to, some, to something a little thinner, say 0.13. We could switch to inches if we wanted to. This is actually a design from the US, so let's say OK now. And can you see we've got the result we want? We've got the thick line on the outside and the finer lines on the inside so you, you can play with the default setting for line weight to get a result such as this just improves the final print